Welcome primary 4 with you is Miss Noura Abdurrahman and today we are going to start lesson number 3 on concept number 1 on unit 2. Are you ready to start? Let's go! Okay, if you can remember to make something moving or to change its position, we need to make a force. And the force is pushing or pulling. When you push the car, you change its position. When you pull a toy car, you also change its position. So what is the meaning of force? Is pushing or pulling apply to object to change its position. Pushing or pulling apply to the object to change its position. What's the meaning of change position? Moving. Change position means moving. So again, what's the meaning of force? Pushing or pulling apply to any object to change its position this is called force okay is there is a force effect on us when we are not moving like when we are sitting on a chair is there is a force effect on us uh, we studied before the balanced force if you can remember the balanced force make the things don't moving Okay, so when we are in a chair, is there is a balanced force effect on us? Yes, there is a balanced force effect on us. Balanced force means a two forces, but in opposite direction. Two equal forces in opposite direction make the things don't moving. Okay, what is the two forces effect on us when we are sitting on the chair? Number one. The gravity, excellent. The gravity by pulling anything, anything on the ground, the gravity effect on it. The gravity, it is the force which pulling down anything to the center of the earth. So the gravity will affect on you. This is number one. Number two, the chair will push you up. So the gravity pull you down and the chair is push you up. Why the chair is pushing you up? To resist the gravity. Anything, anything above the ground, the chair, the table, um, the books, anything, anything above the ground, even you, it is, you, you are resisting the gravity and pushing up. The chair is pushing up. The table is pushing up. The books is pushing up. Anything above the ground is making a force by pushing up to resist the gravity anything so again the question again what is the two forces effect on you when you are sitting on the chair the gravity pull you down and the chair push you up the gravity pull you down and the chair push you up so the uh, force will be balanced or unbalanced will be balanced excellent so you will move you or you will doesn't move you will don't move excellent okay what is the force effect on you when you are pull your bag up when you are pull your bag up also your bag doesn't move in your hand so the gravity will pull the bag down and your arms will pulling the pull the bag up so the gravity pulling down and your arms pull up so the force will be balanced or unbalanced super will be balanced so the object will move or doesn't move the object doesn't move so we have another example when there is a toy car put on table without moving what is the two forces effect on the car again super number one the gravity pull the car down and the table push the car up the gravity pull down and the table push up gravity pull down and table push up so the force will be balanced or unbalanced balanced and the object doesn't move excellent so this is the two forces effect on anything doesn't move it is a balanced force with same amount of force in opposite direction Okay, what if the force become unbalanced? The toy which uh, the force which affect on the toy car become unbalanced. What happened to the car? The unbalanced force make the things move. So the car will start to move. So 
when you make unbalanced force to the car, like pushing the car or pulling the car. The car will start to move. Okay, maybe it can move faster, or maybe you can make it move slower, or maybe you can even change the direction of moving, like from right to left or from left to right. So, to make something uh, move, you should make unbalanced force by pushing it or pulling it. Okay, what if there is something already is moving and you want it to stop? If you want to, st to stop something in motion, like this book, this book is moving to the left side. What should you do to stop the book? You should push it to the left side. Excellent. So you will make the same amount of force or equal amount of force in the same direction or in opposite direction. In opposite direction or in the other direction. You will push the book to the right side. So the book will stop. So to stop something moving, you should make the same amount of force or equal amount of force in opposite direction to stop something moving you should make same amount of force in opposite direction and this is called friction force this is called what friction force repeat after me friction force friction force so the friction force is make the things slow down or stop moving the friction force is uh, applied to a moving object to slow it down or to stop moving. And this force happens when the object rub against each other. What's the meaning of rub against each other? Moving in opposite direction from each other. Like when the car move on the street it they are touching each other and moving against each other this is called rubbing this is called rubbing so the rubbing make a friction force and the friction force make the things slow down or stop moving okay the friction force is in opposite direction or in the same direction in opposite direction of motion like this box is moving to the right side so the friction force must be with same amount of force but in which uh, in which direction to the uh, left direction to the left to stop the box so the friction force works with equal amount of motion in opposite direction to stop something with friction force, the friction force acts in equal amount of motion in opposite direction. Equal amount of motion but in opposite direction. This is called a friction force. Sometimes you can see the friction force very very easy like in car, in car crashed. When the car crashed it is moving. How can the car stop by the friction force? rubbing between the car and the street can you see it here rubbing between the car and the street with equal amount of force in opposite direction make the car crashed stop moving so here you can see the friction force very very easy and sometimes you can see it very hard like when the car run, runs out from the fuel on a flat road flat road means in the street when the car is moving very very fast on the uh, on the flat road or on the street the speed of the car is decrease or become low gradually until the car will stop okay what does make the car stop there is nothing make the car stop uh, uh, just the friction force can make it stop moving Okay, what is the friction force on the street which affect on the car? Number one, the friction force, it will be between the car tires and the road or the street. So between the car tires and the street, there is a friction force. And also between the air and the car, 
the air also work in the opposite direction of the car to make it stop or to slow it down so there is a two uh, friction force effect on the car the air and the rubbing between the tire and root so what is the two forces uh, two friction forces effect on the car the rubbing between the tire and the root and number two the friction force of the air between the air and the car so this is the friction force which effect on a car moving okay guys do you know the satellite okay how can they launch the satellite on the space they launch the satellite on a rocket so they launch the satellite on the rocket to uh, go to the space okay uh, before launching before launching when the rocket is uh, on the launch pad here launch pad means the place we, uh, of launching the rocket the place of launching the rocket is called launch pad okay so here on the uh, earth the motion of rocket it will be balanced or unbalanced super it will be balanced before launching it is balanced there is no motion the force is balanced so the rocket will move or will doesn't move super the rocket will doesn't move there is no motion the force is balanced in the rocket motion it is less on it is launch pad the rocket moving uh, the lo rocket motion is less on its launch pad that means that uh, it is the less motion it is the less motion on the uh, launch pad before any launching and before any moving so it will be the less on the launch pad before launching okay during the launching what happened during the launching the satellite? The motion of rocket when the, when the uh, satellite or when the rocket become or start to move from the earth. So it will be balanced force or unbalanced force. Excellent. It will be unbalanced because the rocket start to move from the earth. So the motion of rocket become unbalanced and it move away from the earth and when the rocket go to the space it will release or will get out the satellite into an orbit what's the meaning into an orbit the orbit it is the place uh, or the way of moving the satellite around the earth the way of moving the satellite around the earth is called orbit so the satellite will move around the earth and orbit when it's go to the space okay in the space the satellite will travel around the earth in the same speed at the same speed for hundreds of years without stop and without slow down why why is without stop or without slow down to make something slow down or stop it should have a friction force and the friction force is happened if there is a rubbing between the air is there is a air on the space no there is no air on the space so there is no friction force so the satellite can move at the same speed for hundreds of years with you was miss noura abdurrahman and thank you for listening